Well, hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Rainforest Project. Uh, the Rainforest Project is a great building in Forge Vampires, and this is uh, another video in the Great Building series. So, uh, let's see, Rainforest Project is a future era building. Here it is on the little uh, Great Building card. It kind of shows you what it looks like. Pretty cool. It kind of has multiple tiers and it has some uh, greenery and some water, and it's pretty cool. So there's some rocks and stuff in there. Pretty pretty cool. Uh, here it is in the wild. It's kind of nestled amongst some other great buildings in the middle. So let's jump over and take a look and learn more about it. So here uh, we're going to talk about, I'm over at the Forge Vampires wiki at forgevampires.phantom.com. Uh, I've got no affiliation with the site, just a cool resource that I like to use and like to share. There will be a link to this down below, as well as a link to my Great Building uh, series. Uh, so if you're interested in, in learning more about this, not having to Google it. So, Okay, construction cost. Uh, so again, future era. Construction cost 525, 500, 250, 300, 300. So it's getting a little bit more costly uh, at the five, uh, 525 and 500. So you got some algae and biochemical data are the expensive pieces. Um, these are also the same goods that are going to be needed for ARC, we'll, which we'll be talking about in the next video. So um, if you're interested in seeing that, um, you know, please consider subscribing. You'll get notified when I publish that one. I'm publishing two of these videos on Great Buildings a week. Um, I'm going, uh, I've already done everything up to this era, up to future, and I will continue on for every Great Building that there is in the game. So uh, stay tuned. Size, there's my PSA announcement. <laughs> okay, so the size to six by six, kind of kind of that middle, kind of that middle range. Um, decent decent size footprint, but at least it's square, it's easy to place. Uh, roads required. And let's see, what does it offer? It offers some goods production and blueprints. So uh, let's talk about that. Goods production, I believe that those are gonna be your era's goods, but the blueprints are a reward for aiding. And that's really where the value in this great building is. So we got a lot of other goods production buildings, and those are all those are all great. But uh, something that's really unique here, similar to what we talked about in the Truce Tower, where you can get some goods from future eras. This gives you the opportunity to pick up some uh, better your odds of getting blueprints for random eras from your uh, neighbors, guildies, and friends. So let's go ahead and talk about this in more detail. So. Okay, so level one um, is a 70, 70 FP requirement to get to level one. You will get 13 goods um, from your era, or yeah, from your era per day in the daily collection. And then once you get to higher levels and so on, um, that factor goes in where it's, you know, raw goods, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the but, the big benefit here is going to be the aid blueprint chance boost. So just like you can randomly get a blueprint from, you know, polyvading, Anybody in the game, it just has some, some randomness to it. This increases that chance of the randomness. So, <laughs> you really, at level one, you're increasing your random chance by a third. Uh, you look at your level five, you're increasing it by two thirds. So, basically, you know, it's, it, it really starts to add up. It, it seems kind of odd that it's a random increaser, but when you're polyvating enough players, you're going to be picking up blueprints more frequently for all over the place, whether they be um, friends, guildies, or neighbors. So, and if you have some high level, high high era friends and guild members or guild mates, um, that's where it will really help to pay off in getting some of those blueprints that you need for those other, other eras. So uh, it's a very abbreviated description of that. I'm planning on making a video uh, that's going to talk about kind of the the trifecta of great buildings, in my opinion, from this general time frame, which is going to be the Ark, the Rainforest, and the Truce Tower, and how those three together um, kind of set uh, an incredible foundation for if you know if um, if you're into great buildings and kind of pursuing a big inventory of great buildings like I am, um, it really helps set the stage to to be successful in that angle at the game. So just as an example here, let me show you my great building list. Um, so here, I'm only industrial age, uh, but, and actually I had most of these buildings before industrial age. I just probably moved up just to get more real estate to place them. And I've got a bunch more that are sitting in the wings. So you look at my list of great buildings. Uh, those three buildings combined are what set the stage to build out um, 
this quantity. My, my goal, as I mentioned in previous videos, is to build all great buildings in the game in this world. That's kind of each server I used to like to kind of play a theme, and that's the theme I have here is I wanted a full, full inventory, and I think I've got over 30 great buildings right now. So, I think, yeah, somewhere around there. At least 20. Well, I'll just do the math on it, but either way, yeah, there's quite a few in there. Yeah, probably over 30, so... Um, that said, I don't want to go too long. Uh, Rainforest Project, it's a, kind of a cool, great building. It's kind of unique, and um, it's in a cool era. The future era has this and the arc. I mean, what a good combination, right? That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. If you were in, like I said, if you're interested, please subscribe, um, like, comment. What are your thoughts on the Rainforest Project in general? Is it a build? No, is it a no build? Um, I'm interested to know. So thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, stay tuned. More videos coming. Bye.